if someone would have told me that I'm gonna play a strategy game where you are building a city, wooden city, with beavers, I would probably love them out of the room. But I guess we're living in a weird times and we're gonna play some weird games. And today we're going to be discussing Timberboard and whether it is worth it to get or not. So let's get it started. So what is Timberboard? Timberborn is early access city management game where you are controlling a colony of ad super advanced beavers who are trying to build a town and survive through different droughts. This is a very short premise and very interesting premise of this game and well technically it's all there is. This game is actually a city building and city management game. If you have played games like let's say Banished in the past or even City Skylines, you're gonna feel exactly the same way here. So your goal is basically to live through a different cycles of fertility and of drought. Basically, you have a central river on a map, and I think maps are generated automatically. I've played only a few different maps, and I, I'm actually not sure if all the different maps are different, but you have a central river and a few lakes on this map. And, and these spots are the only spots where actually life is possible, where you can grow crops, where wood is growing and you can harvest the wood, and where you can basically survive. And from time to time, this river just stops flowing and the period of drought starts and you have to survive through this period of drought. Then you're controlling your colony of beavers and you need to basically, well, build a city to, well, grow even through these dangerous times. And that's basically it. You, you build different houses, you build a road system, you manage each and every beaver to give them jobs, you control a rudimentary energy system as well because your beavers can actually generate electricity with water and you, uh, you, are actually, you can actually build dams, of course, you are, of course, you play as a beaver and you can actually control this flow of the water and you can save some water and things like that. And when I first started playing this game, I thought that this was a joke. I thought that there would be nothing of fun there, but I was weirdly surprised. This game is insanely and very surprisingly deep. There are mechanics in this game that, that are not available on other city buildings games. Like for example, in this game, you can actually build vertically and you can build different buildings on top of each other. For example, if you want to build a multi-story building for, for housing of your beavers, you can actually do that. You only need to do, only to think is how the top residents will be able to access the building. That's all that you need to think about that. And you can actually create a leisure places on the top, let's say campfires or maybe lounges and things like that. You can actually do that on the top of the buildings. And all of this is weirdly and surprisingly deep. Each and every single one of your beavers just is being born, goes through a childhood, grows up, goes to his ages, goes old and dies. And they can have families and then those children are being born, they will grow up and then they will die and etc etc this life cycle will continue as you will go through the cycles when the water is around you can grow crops you can grow food your trees are growing and you can chop them and you can start building different buildings because now we have a lot of wood but when the drought will start if you haven't saved enough water well you, there will be there won't be a lot of water beavers will start dying or your crops will start dying if the drought will continue for really long you don't really know in advance how long they will continue for so as you progress in the game they will actually last for longer and longer and longer and and you need to be prepared for that your residents actually have their own daily routines as well where they work during a certain amount of time they will have the time for themselves and then they will sleep for a certain amount of time. So that's actually very surprising and very deep game, which weirdly enough is still an early access. And to be fair, I, again, I was pleasantly surprised. And if you played any of the city building and city management games, you will enjoy this game and you're gonna spend a lot of time here. It was weird when I first turned on the game and when I looked at the watch I realized that I was playing for 7 hours non-stop. It, it was that addicting and that interesting. And as you progress you can actually change the flow of the river and save water and you can actually change entire landscapes, building higher and better dams and it's, it's actually surprisingly 
interesting and surprisingly fun. But is it worth to buy? Let's discuss that. So first, let's go through pricing. The game is available on Steam for $24.99 for tier 1 countries and $12.49 for tier 2 countries. Then because the game came out relatively recently, the deepest discount it got was $22.49 for tier 1 countries and $11.24 for tier 1 countries. So basically you're looking at buying this game for the full price. And I usually don't buy the games for the full price. But this time, it's actually different. I liked this game even in its first iteration. And for the tier 2 price, this was absolutely 100% worth it. For the tier 1 price, if you have played any of the city building games, you are going to enjoy this game and you are going to enjoy this game a lot. Because despite this drought thing sounding pretty ominous and menacing, it's not actually that difficult and game is pretty relaxing and enjoyable experience. Yes, on high difficulties, you're gonna get some challenge, but not a lot. And overall, the game is pretty fun and relaxing experience without being it overly hard. It's also not overly easy as well, but it's not hard too. So would I recommend this game for the full price? Again, if you have played city building games, you are going to enjoy this. However, if you have not played city building games, and then I would suggest you to wait for a little deeper discount, at least 50%. For $12, this game is worth it any day of the week. For $25, maybe not for everyone. Even though I think that majority of people will still enjoy this game, whether they have played city building games or not. Overall, I highly recommend this game, and I got a lot of enjoyment from this game. I'm gonna continue playing this game and watching its development because if early access launch was that good i cannot wait to see the full release of the game well this will be it for today let me know in the comments down below have you even heard of a timber board and what did you think the first time when you actually found out what this game was all about let me know in the comments down below thank you for being here with me like the video if you liked it subscribe for more videos like this one and i'm gonna see you in the next one see ya